Hi everyone, it's Bianca and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I achieve this glowing and effortless makeup look, which is perfect as an everyday look where you want to feel put together and your most beautiful self, but don't want to spend hours getting ready. So to start off, we're going to be priming the face and I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance. And I love this primer because it leaves my face with that glow from within in kind of feel and it's really cooling so as I apply it I feel like my skin is being hydrated and moisturized at the same time so I like to just put a few dots around my face and then just really use my hands and rub this into my skin and you'll see I'm left with a really nice glowing complexion For foundation, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I'm in 220 Natural Beige and I like to pick this up on a flat top kabuki brush and just rub and blend this into my skin. And because we have the Radiance Primer underneath, the foundation won't dry and settle matte even though it is a matte and poreless foundation. Next up for concealer, I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Almond and I'm just going to be adding this under my eyes, in between my eyebrows and on my chin and then with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, I'm going to be blending this all out. To set everything down, I use this Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder on my beauty sponge and I just press it into the product and then really work it anywhere I put the concealer and just press it in so all the powder disappears. I really have been loving the natural brow look lately, so I'm going to be using the Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder in number 5. I just feel like this gives the eyebrows the most natural effect because it isn't harsh. So I just take this product and run it through any sparse areas of my brow. And then to set all my brow hairs in place, I'm going to be pushing them up with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is just the clear one, so it makes the hairs look really natural and fluffy, which I love. To bronze up my face, I'm going to be taking the NARS Laguna bronzer along my cheekbones, my forehead and then whatever's left over on the brush, I just like to run this along the side of my nose to warm up the center of the face. For blush, I'm going to be taking this peach shade from the Too Faced Love Flush palette and I'm going to be adding this to my cheeks. I've really been enjoying blush lately because I feel like it gives the skin a really youthful and healthy look. On an everyday basis, I like to keep my eyes pretty natural, so I'm just taking the NARS Laguna bronzer again on an eyeshadow brush, and I just like to run this through the transition of my eye, just to give a slight contour, and even though it's not very dramatic, it does make a difference at the end of the makeup look. Before I use any mascara, I like to use an eyelash curler and just press this against my lash line to give my eyelashes that really pushed up look. And then I take my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black and work this into my lash line on my top and bottom lashes. You can probably tell how excited I am for my highlighter today because I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. So I like to highlight my cheekbones first and I like to bring the highlighter further down than you usually would because when I turn my face to the front, I like to have that little ball of highlighter where it pops and no matter which angle my face is turned, you can see the highlight from the front. I then run some of this above my eyebrows and down the center of my nose. And then with a small pencil brush, I run this in the tear duct of my eyes and under my brow. I also like to pat some of the highlighter onto the center of my eye and I just feel like this brings the whole look together and just adds some more dimension. To finish off this makeup look, we're going to line the lips and for that I use the NYX Matte Lip Liner in the shade London 
and I overdraw the top and bottom lip. And then I use my Lano Lips 101 ointment. This is just the original coconut smell, which smells amazing by the way. And I just press this into my look to give it a glossy and juicy effect. Now before I forget, I'm also adding some of that Amrezy highlighter to my shoulders and my collarbone. I love adding shimmer to my body because when my face has all the highlighter and the glow and my body doesn't, I feel like I'm a floating head, like my skin's airbrushed but my body isn't. So by adding this glow, it's going to tie the whole look together and give me the glowing complexion that we're after. And lucky last, I'm taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just locking in all the makeup and soaking up any excess product with my beauty sponge just to give my face a really flawless look. I hope you guys enjoyed my glowing and effortless look today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!